My name is Levi Lavalley. I'm 27, and I'm a professional snowmobile slash freestyle rider. Levi's always been that guy, just doing the tricks and making the crowd stand on their feet. He advanced the sport miles before I think it was even ready to get to that point. Levi, you're gonna die. He's like, no, I got this. The guy is completely insane. Three years ago, Levi Lavalley was a snowcross racer known as a consistent podium threat with an edge of control style. I wanted to win, I wanted to do well, and I just thought, if I'm holding the throttle wide open, I'm going fast, right? You know, so that got me into a lot of trouble. He's aggressive and he really puts a, a lot of effort into his riding, which hurts him at times. In 2008, Winter X Games announced the inclusion of a new event, Speed and Style. It was the perfect combination for Lavalley. That's what got me into the freestyle. I got a ramp and stuff just so I could learn a few tricks so that I could be competitive in speed and style. And after a few weeks of jumping, I was like, holy cow, I'm learning a lot of tricks. And then I figured out the backflip, and I'm like, well, I'm going to go try qualifying for freestyle, too. Right off the bat, he was, he was dialed. He ended up winning that qualifier. And everybody kind of looked at each other like, this guy just started doing this when? A month later, went out to X Games, ended up winning the freestyle gold out there. So it's, it just kind of fell into my lap. Lavallee didn't just win the 2008 freestyle competition. He won the speed and style and made the snowcross final. The following year, a competition called Next Trick was added to the schedule. I said, oh, gosh, that'd be cool. I get in that event too, you know, make it four events. So I started working on a double flip, and you know, that was, that was a whole different ball game. They defied all the, the laws of, of physics of what it takes to double backflip. Common knowledge was, hey, you cannot double backflip a snowmobile. I'm not sure how many practice jumps I had, but it was just a pile of them, countless attempts into the foam. And going into the event, I had never even landed the thing. I was actually in the booth announcing with ESPN when Levi was getting ready, and I was nervous. I'm like, oh, this could go really good or really, really bad. For him, it probably happened so fast, but for all of us watching, it was like slow motion. It's a bigger deal than anyone realizes at this point. More impressed with Levi's double than my double for sure. He's a small guy taking a sled that weighs three times more than my motorcycle, and he's doing it over ice. Despite making history, Lavalley failed to fully land the trick, leaving something of an asterisk on his greatest accomplishment. I don't count until you land it, until you ride away. So I want to land one double backflip, and then I don't ever want to do another one, because that was by far the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. The double back was symbolic of Lavalley's overall X Games record. Despite boasting five medals, he's just as well known for missed opportunities. My snowcross at the X Games has been very up and down. My highlight would have been the silver medal at the old 6 1, which was sort of bittersweet. I led the entire race and fell off with a lap to go. I just know how much effort it takes to be at the top and have that type of preparation and mentality in multiple sports is very difficult. Closure. Heading into Winter X 14, Lavalley is preparing for yet another Ironman run at four events. And once again, he's a medal contender in every single one of them. The field is deeper. It's going to be tough for him, no doubt. But if anybody could do it, it would be Levi. I've tried being like super serious and where I'm just like, all right. But what I found for me, if I'm not out there having fun, I'm going slow. Having fun is what leads to gold. <laughs> 